All right, I guess this is the first installment of me playing Terraria. Um, it's John from Betty Corp, of course. Uh, no, no one knows this. This is this will be the second video that we make. Um, my partner and I, um, in this company, have been quite busy. And yeah, I know it's been like three months beforehand, but uh, school and stuff. I'm not owning a actual recording device, etc. So here I am now. Summer, ready to go. It's also 12:40 at night. Next day, ready to go. So I'm gonna play some Terraria. Ah, uh, this is probably more like a introduction type thing. I guess for those who haven't really played the game. Um, I've played it way too long, way too often. I've like 170 hours put into this. So, um, I don't know what I'm doing. Maybe not. We'll find out, I guess. Uh, general kind of hairstyle. One. This one. No. Maybe this one. Uh, I mean, you know, hairstyle is always important to have definitely something you need to know what you're doing with okay we're going to that one and hair color what, what, let's see let's go let's go with the sign yeah that one okay eyes doesn't matter skin um, let's go let's go right there yeah and close let's see let's see yeah I'm making a little ridiculous I understand exactly what I'm doing trust me I'm a professional Red shirt, yeah, with some beige pants. Yep, and undershirt. Let's make it a little bluer T to match the hair, obviously. Shoes don't matter. Uh, um, and I guess the clothes don't really matter either because you put armor on throughout the game. I prefer the soft core because I hate dropping everything from medium core and this is just too scary for me to try. What happens to their bodies? I don't know. We'll never find out. But this one you lose a lot of items. And I started with medium core without realizing what I was doing and I kept losing all my items. It got really frustrating over time and I decided to just switch it to soft core and new person. So, character name. Um, since this is for Batty Corp, let's name him Batty. Done. Okay. To all the worlds I have created, um, make a new one, obviously. Let's do medium. It's quite fair. Um, let's just do Corp then. Corp. Done. Um, I apologize if you can hear the clicking of my mouse. It's quite clicky. Um, and surprisingly, the microphone picks up the clicks quite well, whereas it doesn't do the voice as well. If you saw how I had the setup, you'd think I'm an idiot, which I'm not gonna go into. <laughs> um, let's see. Partner Nick does not own this game, so you will not be seeing me playing with him. However, I have a lot of other friends who do own it, and I will be playing with them. So we might have some oh heck guests from time to time. So okay, so you start up with the map. Okay, start up with these things. What? I have mana. Okay, must be an update. Oh. This will be your main form of attack for those bits. It's hard to start off this game. Um, when I started off, I just didn't know what to do. And this is back before the most recent update a few years ago. So literally, it was like Minecraft, but 2D. So if you start with these three types of tools, and if you push escape, you can see the icon, inventory, all this stuff, whatever. Um, I'll actually turn off the map. I find this in a way. What, what can I do? I can lower. Oh, here. What is that? 
Okay, I don't want any of this. So, what do you do first? Well, the first thing you want to do is probably explore a little bit. Talk to the guide, because he's helpful. Hey, Brett. It is recommended that you talk to me anytime he's stuck. Just keep pushing help and he tells you things. Survive. Surviving is key. Very nice to have. Uh, life, usually, when you're playing the game. Unless you're a zombie, in which case, don't worry about it. So, chopping. Okay, shelter. I'm gonna make shelter. First thing. I don't need help. <laughs> um, first thing I'm gonna do is the axe. Hello, oh, squirrel. Got him. Okay. Trees. And you can scroll with your mouse, or just click on them, and go for it. Oh, suicidal mouse. Not being squirrel. Kind of embarrassing. Uh, let's see. So you just cut down these trees. It takes time. It takes a while, actually, because the axe you have first doesn't really work as well as later on axes, which makes sense. You gotta work for you gotta work for the better axes. Um, it's nice that I spawned in a pretty flat area because this way whenever I restart the game, like I don't need a bed. If you wanna build somewhere else and you wanna spawn there you need to make a bed, well now I can just spawn right on the house I'm gonna make. Pretty handy if I do say so myself. Uh, on some trees, and you can see up here it's adding some inventory. Hello, buddy. Um, gosh, suicidal animals left and right. This is just some background. Ooh, worm. I can't catch you though. I can kill you though. <laughs> I can kill you. I can't catch you. It's murdering all these animals. Um, so acorns. Acorns are good because you can replant trees this way. You put them on some grass and it's done. Now you might think, oh, why would I do that? Well, there is technically a limited supply of wood on each planet, and if you run out of it, then you're done. So you have to replant them. It's kind of like, you know, saving the ecosystem in the earth, but you're doing it in Terraria. Because we care so much, yes, we do. Don't, don't even lie. Oh, gosh. Slimes are not friendly. He's got your jerks, and they kill you. Not quickly, though. Excuse me. So the guide said you should build a base, I guess. A shelter. So what you're going to do is build a shelter the way you want it to. Oh, wait. First, you're going to want to push escape and craft a workbench. This will be your buddy for a while. Done. And as you can see, all these different recipes have popped up and you can see crafting window it'll just tell you all you can craft right here instead of scrolling up and down so i kind of do wooden fence because i've never made them before actually even though i'm i like to think i'm pro um i saw an image of it once i have heard my friend the guy oh, doesn't matter they respawn after a while I saw a picture with the fences and like that looks kind of cool. Oh, that's one fence. Two fences. Oh, this is exciting. <laughs> Super exciting. Except what's going to happen here? Okay, that's kind of what? Okay, we're good. I didn't know I could do that. Oh man. Oh, this is like a wall. Okay, I'll explain those later. Interesting. Can I do this then? can do this. Huh. Never knew that. Okay. Clearly I'm starting to get the uh, trapping the slimes away from. Oh, shoot, this guy's coming by. Oh! This guy can jump. Okay. Okay. So, this might have been a bad thing to do right now. These guys are kind of killing me. Okay, this guy's gonna die. Oh. oh goodness. This guy keeps jumping up. Okay, we're done with that. Um They hop over you. Nice. Okay. Leapfrog with the slimes. Dang it. <laughs> okay. 
Oh gosh, okay, got him. So, back to this dumb thing. Um, I'll have to go one more. So now I can, I think, yeah, I can still make it over. But, still a shelter within itself. So I make a shelter. And I can't reach that. And I'm pretty sure, oh, can't do it. Okay. Interesting. I guess my guy has uh, the major hops. As you uh, cool kids say these days. Okay, this will use up your wood, as you can see. I'm running out of wood. Let's see what the workbench has for us now. Uh, I want to make... I want to make a door. I don't know how you make doors these days. Oh, there's a door. I can't make doors. Make two doors, because, you know, nothing says a house like a door. Remove blocks, just pickaxe. Get those three high, how your character is, and but done. Door. And check us out. Three, two, one, done. Door. Okay. Let's see. Day boom stays? Okay. What else can I make? Let's, let's make. What is this? Um. Five. Okay. This was. What? Seven? Seven? So I'm probably gonna make this now. Because I have plenty of wood. Okay. Hammer, don't need a hammer, but I'm gonna make it anyways because. No, I'm not gonna make it. It's worthless right now. Wood hammers are. The wood is like the least of the tier of tools, so I'm not gonna deal with it. I am, however, gonna make this arm. No, you know what? This arm is garbage too. <laughs> Uh, I like the character's hair. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I'm not making armor because of the hair, and it's okay. Um, let's see here. So if I, what else do I need to make? For the fence, light, okay. So I'm gonna do what? Make three torches with one gel. This is dropped by the slimes, and make three of them. So I can do this, done. Haha, I touch it the side of buildings with the right click and I'll have that right there for safekeeping and that is that I need to save this guy before he dies so you can see the sword swings around your head like you know you mean business which I clearly do so yeah, it looks like a solid house you know it has the walls the fence can't not have a fence right right I'm making another fence because now it's uneven and I can't not have it uneven. This game will uh, bring out your OCD side. Come here, guide. Brett, you should probably go inside. Uh, <laughs> Brett. Okay, good. So the sun is setting, you can tell because it's getting darker as well as. The stars are coming up, so I'll probably leave it off here for now. No, Brett. Shoot. Ugh. Leave it out for now. Um, beginning. We'll see if I survive the... Brett, you need to not die. Okay. See if I survive the night next video. Um, hopefully, at least the start is nice. It's kind of a test run for me, too. See how this goes, and uh, hope to see you. Oh, or squirrel. <laughs> hope to see you guys next time without any suicidal animals.